Well, it's toward the end of the season now. Um, things are coming into being ripe. Um, the persimmons are still about a month off. Uh, the pawpaws are just starting. Um, and we have these trees which have grown substantially this season. They're just starting to harden their wood for winter. Uh, in about two months, they will uh, complete the process. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about Nikita's gift, Nikitskaya Bordovaya. She is prone to dropping a lot of her fruit uh, in her early years especially, and in drought years like this one. Um, she's still holding a few, but I don't expect her to, to hold any of them uh, this year. We've had such a dry season here in the Northeast. Um, however, I just wanted to let people know that if your Nikita is dropping fruit, that that is typical of this cultivar, especially when young, and to not be too concerned about it. This is Dr. Kazas. This was a single bud graft two months ago, and you can see it has taken off completely, three feet in growth. Um, that's a very successful graft, in my opinion. And you can see back here, Journey is a similar report. Uh, three grafts, three different bud grafts have taken and grown at least three to four feet. Another success. This is an unnamed Deravianco selection with large fruit. Also, it has done quite well. And Barbara's Blush, the 100% American persimmon, has done spectacularly, you can see. She grew four or five feet. Mount Roman Kosh, similar, three to four feet of growth. Now Sophie's gift, Dar Sofievki, gift of Sofievka is doing quite well. I will have some scion later this winter, only a little bit, uh, to share and spread around. But yeah, the first thing I, I notice about Sophie's gift is the wood is very smooth and the leaves have a unique shape. It's, uh, there's no fuzz or tomentum on, on the leaves of any sort. It's a very glabrous plant. So that's an interesting observation on the cultivar. Now the only tree that seems to have done very well this year is my uh, Yates persimmon, which is holding like a thousand fruits of very large size. And this is the first year that it has done this. It is 11 years old, to give you an idea of how long it can take a persimmon to come into consistent bearing. It's still a young tree, but she is about 20 feet tall and uh, making loads of fruit.